Hey folks, in this video we're going to be doing a rear brake pad replacement on a Hyundai iX35 CRD and the replacement parts we're going to be putting in are just these drive master pads never used them before but I'm sure they'll be just fine so the first thing we're going to do is lift up the car, make it safe and get the wheels off and we'll take it from there okay folks so we're up on the jack it's a three ton halfords jack and on an axle stand just to be sure i'm over the wheel off so as you can see the pads are completely done you can hardly even see them in there so it looks like on this car we're going to undo that bolt and then the one at the bottom pull out those pins and then that caliber should lift off uh, but the first thing we're going to do is clean these with a wire brush cleaning is extremely important if you don't want to strip bolts I find so we'll clean that now and then we'll take it from there so we're getting that nice and clean with a wire brush so we'll work it out for a few, good few minutes just to make sure it's absolutely perfectly clean so that we'll get a good purchase on it whenever we go to loosen it loosen it off so it's all cleaned up and we've just removed that screw there and we sort of noticed that when we went through the bottom one we were actually able to pull the caliper back enough to change those pads so there's the pads there and they're still jammed either side so we'll clean they're sort of stuck in there as you can see they're done but we'll give that a bit of a clean uh, so that we can get the new pads in, get all this clean so we can get them out and that we clip there and then we're going to push <coughs> this piston back out of the way so we can fit the new pads in because they're a lot thicker than the worn ones that have come out so we'll get that all cleaned up, get those pads out and then come back to it so these brake pads have never been off the car before uh, they're stuck on with a good bit of dirt so we're having to actually sort of just tap it away from the the wheel here if you want to go ahead and give it a wee, a wee tap just using a socket to get a bit of movement on it. Get it off there, off that. It'll just slide out towards him as he's hammering it. It's very stiff, so we'll work away at that for a few minutes. But it is causing a wee bit of, a wee bit of hassle getting it off because of the dirt. So, it took a wee bit of tapping to get that off. Uh, it was. It turned out it was just in with dirt. It's never been off the car, so tapping up that way extension did the trick. Just tapped it straight out towards us. And then we'll tap the other one out the back end, and then we'll clean the whole thing up, and we're ready to push that piston back there in the middle and fit the new pads. So we've got everything cleaned up. I just used that bar, and he was able to push that piston back really easily, uh, straight by hand. So now he's he's already cleaned up those runners there with uh, a little wire brush. Just one of these jobs and now we're, and we've already opened the bonnet and taken the cap off the brake reservoir to, so that we could push that piston back and now he's going to just uh, put some copper grease on the new pads and slide them straight in here and one in the back and put it back together so it's not that bad a job so he's greased up the pad there and the wee sliders and he's just fitting the back one first just gonna slide it in that's nice and tight. So I'll get out of his face while he's doing that. And then we'll come back there. So we've had a copper grease just on the sliders of those pads. Uh, they were a bit fiddly to put them in. We had to tap them in. That back one there has a little anti rattle clip at the bottom, which puts a bit of pressure on that piece of steel behind it stops that from rattling so but not too bad a job just tapped it in so the next thing to do is get the uh, caliper back up over it put the bolt back on seal up the seal up the reservoir at the front and then pump the pedals to uh, push the brake pads in against the disc and then that's us done, put the wheel back on on this side, uh, we don't know the torque settings of those nuts there, they're holding the caliber on so we're not going to pretend to know them, we're just tighten them up nice and tight 
check everything over, check for leaks, and then we'll move on to the other side. So that's our progress so far. So the car's away, done and dusted, gone. Uh, and as you can see, there was basically the driver said that there was funny noises coming from the brake pads. So as you can see, they were completely worn. So the passenger side was just done exactly the same as, sorry, the driver side was just done exactly the same as the passenger side that you just saw. Yeah, and it's not the hardest job. It's actually relatively easy the way that caliper flaps back. So saved himself a lot of money by not having to pay for that job to be done. Yeah. So that's it until the next repair that comes along. Thanks very much for watching.